Hey guys, Mount Baker Mining and Metals. And on this video, I'm gonna demonstrate the six inch by 30 inch jaw crusher here behind me. We sell a lot of these units to granite countertop shops who crush their remnants and their waste through this machine so they don't have to dump it in the landfill and they can sell the product as gravel. So let's go take a look at some of our samples. Then we'll put them through the jaw crusher here. They'll come crushed down into the screen bin and we'll take a look. So here's the samples we're gonna be running today. And there's two different types. There's a natural stone, which is here on my left. And then there's a man-made product called quartz that's here on my right. And I've split them into the two separate types. We're gonna run the natural stone first. And I've actually broken the natural stone down further into a couple different samples. I've got the white stuff here in the front. And then I've got some colored stone in the back that will run separate to show you how you can either run it all through and sell it as gravel, or if you want to sort by color, a lot of our customers get a premium on gravel that's sorted into different colors like black and green and brown and white, for example. And then once we're done with the natural stone, we'll come over to our quartz and we'll crush that through the crusher and I'll show you how that looks. Just a little bit closer look here. This is that natural stone, comes out of the ground, they mine it. This is all of our white stuff. And then I have three different samples. This is kind of like a dark gray, yellow, brown mix. I've got a brown color here and then I've got a little bit of black that will run separate. Here's our natural white stone that we crushed, and it's about a three-quarter inch product. But like I said, this is all the same color, and it crushed down real nice. It was about as fast as we could feed it. You can open the jaws a little bit more if you wanted a coarser crush, but a lot of people want this fine three-quarter minus crush for decorative stone, landscape, mulch, uh, filling potholes in their driveways, whatever. So there's the natural stone, white. Now we'll run three different samples of the black, brown, and gray, and we'll show you how those compare.
Here are the four colored samples that we sorted. Here's the white stuff that we crushed earlier on. And I've gotten them all wet so you can see the color and it, it washed off the dust. But we've got the white, and then the brown really comes out. You can really see the colors, and when they're sorted, you can envision them as a landscape mulch, all the same color. This is a really cool one, kind of a black, gray, and, and off-white. And then the black here uh, really just sparkles in the, in the sunlight. So that's an example of sorting them, or some of our customers just mix it all together, crush it all down into gravel, and sell it as gravel. And here's a quick look at our quartz samples. There's a bunch of different types in here, but they're all essentially little pieces of rock, like this one, they can mix glass in them, rock dust, and then they mix them with a polymer uh, plastic type of thing that binds them all together and they get these nice smooth countertops. Some of these pieces are real big, but as long as they'll fit down through our 30 inch wide jaw crusher mouth, the crusher will crush them up real nice. Right, this is our quartz engineered stone went to the crusher it's a little bit harder to crush I don't know harder is the right word it seems like it's it, it has a little more give than natural stone it, it uh, it's a little more flexible I guess is the word I'm looking for so it just crushes slower but everything went through and crushed to this really nice fine product and same thing you can use it for landscape mulch gravel whatever but if nothing else, you really, really reduced your volume and turned your waste into a product that you can now turn around and sell. And we developed this product specifically for the granite industry, but also we're finding that it, it is uh, real appealing to the asphalt and concrete guys, and also panel glass, and pretty much anything long and skinny that you need a, a real wide crusher, but not real thick that you can feed a large slab down into and get a nice one inch or three quarter inch minus product. So here's some of the samples we're gonna to do today. We have uh, two different samples of granite. This is a natural stone product here. We also have some of this man-made quartz product, this lighter colored stuff. As well as on the far side, we have some slabs of concrete we're gonna run down through.
natural stone test through the jaw crusher. And this is about an inch and a half minus crush. This is what the customer wanted. This crusher can go up to about two inch or all the way down to about a three quarter inch minus discharge. And we estimated here, you have about 400 pounds of granite that we crushed. It took us about a minute. And I couldn't keep up with the crusher. I could, I could barely get things in as fast as it was crushing. So we conservatively figure at this size crush, we're getting about 12 tons an hour. And so now we're going to run the quartz through and see how that compares. And as you can see, it still had a nice crush, same with the natural stone. It took a little bit longer though. We did the same amount of volume, uh, but it took a minute and a half instead of a minute like with the natural stone. So it took about 50% longer. The quartz is a little bit harder to crush, uh, but the crusher still did a great job and created a good product the customer can still use. Now we're going to move on to the concrete sample and see how that one goes. from our concrete sample and as you can see the crusher did a great job made a real nice product concrete's a little bit softer than granite and quartz so it makes some more fines we did the same amount of volume as the granite and stuff so uh, and it took about a minute so we're still within that about 10 to 12 tons an hour range and we've designed this to be about six by six so you can take a whole hopper of scrap granite and dump it in and uh, then it will evenly feed down in the jaw crusher We've designed it to take up to about a 28 inch piece. So sink cutouts and stuff like that you can feed in here. The hopper vibrates and it evenly feeds out the material down into the six by 30 jaw crusher here, which crushes it down to about half to three quarter inch minus. So once the material is crushed in the jaw crusher, it comes down here onto this conveyor and the conveyor transports it up to a height of about six feet where it can go off into a bin or a tote or a pile.